Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 25, verses 4 to 5 from the New Living Translation, and it reads as follows. Show me the right path, O Lord. Point out the road for me to follow. Lead me by your truth and teach me, for you are the God who saves me. All day long I will put my hope in you. Family, other translations say, all day long I expectantly wait for you. And isn't that just so true as born again believers that we must do that? That we must wait upon the Lord all day expectantly. That we must put our trust and hope in Him all day, every day. Because when we do this, family, He will be able to lead us and guide us on the right path, as it says there at the beginning of the scripture. If we Ask the Lord at the beginning of the day, Lord, lead me and guide me. Show me what I need to do throughout the day. Lead me onto the path of truth. Lead me onto the path of righteousness. Lead me down the path that you have for my life. If we start our day by praying this prayer and wait expectantly on him throughout the day, putting our trust in him, asking him to guide our steps throughout the day, as we do this, family, we will walk in the path of righteousness. We will walk on the right path. We will walk in the plans and will that God has for our lives. And we will start seeing things in our lives coming together like we never have before but it all starts with starting your day by saying lord i pray for you to lead me and guide me in everything i do throughout the day guide my steps give me the wisdom of the holy spirit to deal with everything that comes my way throughout the day when we pray this in the morning and we go forward in the day not forgetting it but continuously putting our trust and continuously waiting expectantly upon the lord for leading and guiding throughout the day we will walk in these wonderful paths in these wonderful plans that god has for our lives family but we have to first ask god for it and then wait expectantly we can't ask for it and then just forget it and it, it's it's not going to happen family when we make the decisions when we make important decisions we need to check with god we need to check with the holy spirit within us if it's the right thing earlier today I wanted to come into the studio and record from heaven at seven and I just checked with my spirit and I just didn't feel like that was the right time for me to do it. Why? I don't know. The Lord has his reasons, but I felt that that wasn't the time. So consequently, here I am recording it later on in the evening. And that's just waiting on the Lord for his guidance. And like I said, I believe there is a reason. Maybe at some point he'll reveal to me what that reason was. But nonetheless, I followed that guidance. We must do the same, family, in every decision we make. You know, it doesn't have to be like, you know, what color tie to wear and all that kind of stuff. Not silly little things like that. But sometimes when it comes to making it, making smaller decisions and especially when it comes to making big important decisions we need to wait on the guidance of the lord family we need to wait on him expectantly for his instruction on how to go forward so that he can show us the right path as it says there at the beginning of the scripture and point out the road for us to follow this is a prayer that we must pray in the morning that he will point out the right path to us that he'll point out the right road for us to follow throughout the day that he will lead us by his truth and teach us by his truth by his holy spirit living within us by the truth of the word of God and also for him to teach us continuously as we go forward to teach us through his word to teach us through our life experiences and just to speak to us and minister to us throughout the day as we continue to wait expectantly upon him because at the end of the day family he is the God who saves us as it says in the scripture there he is the God who saves us from the world but also saves us each and every day from the things around us because as we walk down the plan and will and perfect plan that God has for our lives as we walk down that path he will save us and protect us from the things going on around us because when we're walking on the perfect will of God family there's no better place to be and it's not to say that troubles aren't going to come but he's going to save us from those troubles he's going to bring us out the other side from those troubles victorious better than we went in family but we have to be on that path and we have to ask God to guide us on that path he is the God who saves us who brings us out of the kingdom of darkness into his wonderful kingdom of light but he also saves us from the situations and circumstances that we face on a daily basis as we continue to trust in him put our faith and trust and hope in him and continue to wait expectantly on him for guidance in the decisions that we make throughout the day so I want to encourage you going forward today and every day start your day by praying to the Lord the beginning of this prayer that he will show us the right path that he will point out the road before us that he'll lead us and guide us that he'll give us the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and that he will guide us in everything that we do and everything that we say throughout the day and as you do this family continue to wait expectantly on him throughout the day for guidance so that he can lead you and guide you and bring you on to that 
path that is his perfect will for your life so that you can walk in the abundant life that he has for you. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, as we come to you this morning, Lord, we just pray, Lord, according to the scripture, Lord, that you will show us the right path, Lord, that you will point us out on the path that you have before us, Lord, that you will lead us and guide us in everything that we say and in everything that we do throughout the day. Lord, we pray for the wisdom of the Holy Spirit and in making the important decisions today, Lord. And we pray, Lord, that you will just lead us and guide us in everything today and every day going forward, Lord, so that we can walk in your perfect plan, will, and purpose for our lives so that we can do and accomplish in this life everything that you've set for us to do and accomplish. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for all that you're going to do and accomplish in us and through us as you continue to lead us and guide us today and every day. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watched this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watched this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our Snapscan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.